Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be creating a text to speech converter using vanilla JavaScript. So, this is what our final project will look like. Here, I've got this input field where I will enter the text something like Welcome to Code Grind. And when I press this speak button, we will hear this, uh, hear this text from the system. Welcome to Code Grind. So, let's get straight into it. Here I've got this basic layout ready. I've linked two external CSS file, the index.css file in which we'll be doing all the styling part for the web page and the input.css file in which I've got the code for animating our input field. I won't be getting into this part in this video. I have already created a video in the past on how you can animate your input form. I'll give a link in the description for that video and you can also click on the link above to view that video. Now let's get started with our HTML part. So first I will have a div with a class of container. This div will wrap all our things. Then a heading, just a brief description of what we'll be creating in today's project. Inside paragraph, so our text to speech converter using vanilla JavaScript. So this will be our heading. And now next we'll have our input field. So in the inside the class div with a class of input this input group now this input group class is recognized by this input.css file in here input text the we don't need the name just the id so text to speech you can give it any id which you want and a placeholder of enter text yeah then the label the for will be same as the id of the input field so this will be text to speech as well and over here enter text so this is it for our input field now let's design our button button uh, type of button to this and here speak so we have got our HTML part ready over here. Now you see when I click on this input field only then is it visible. Why so we will get to know about it when we get into the styling part. So let's get into the styling part then. We will start the styling by nullifying the browser's default settings. So that will be margin 0, padding 0, uh, box sizing of border box and at last a font family of pop-ins. So this is a font which I'll be using for this web, uh, this text to speech converter. If you want the same font, I'll give a link in the description from where you can download it and install it in your systems. Now let's come to designing the body. First, I will give it a background color of something like teal. Now, since this text has had the color of white, therefore it wasn't visible in the white background. So that was the reason. A color of white to everything and then a display flex and justify content of center to horizontally align everything now we'll have our container and give it a min width of 80 vw so that it covers 80 percent of the screen like this then we'll design a heading give it a font size of 2m text align of center yeah and then our top and bottom margin of 2m this is it for the heading now let's design our button which is the last part for designing a background color inherit it then border this will be two pixels solid white yeah some padding 15 pixels 45 pixels a color of white as well and let's increase its font size to something like 1.1 m this looks good then when i hover over it we get this arrow cursor now we won't we don't want that we want a cursor of pointer and actually this 15 pixels looks quite a bit larger so let's make it 10 yeah this is better 
now when i click on it we get this black outline which doesn't look good so for that we need to give it a outline of none so that's it for our button actually one last thing we can give it a margin top of 1m to get some space between the input field and the button yeah so this is it for the styling now let's get into the last part that is javascript so we will start doing our javascript part at the end of the body tag now we'll create a function uh, let's call that function speak and when this button is clicked we need to call that function so on click we will call the function and in here we will define it so const speak so you can define functions by, uh, by two methods this is the first method by using the const uh, keyword and the second method is this one uh, which is the traditional method you can use whatever you want uh, they both will do the same job for you i will be using this one and in here we will receive the value which the user has entered in this input field so to receive that what we will do is const message is equal to document dot query selector first we will select that input field hash text to speech because the input field has the id of text to speech and dot value this will give us the value yeah now let's alert this uh, so we can see whether we have got it or not so let's see when i press something like code and click on this button we get this alert of code as well so this is working fine now we need to create our speech object so var speech is equal to new speech synthesis utterance so this is a class uh, we are creating an object naming it speech of for the class speech synthesis utterance this is used uh, when you want uh, to convert text to speech now we will set some properties uh, for this speech object so setting various properties uh, the first one will be language so speech dot lang we call this lang property using the object speech the language will which we'll be using is english us english then we'll select our message which we want the system to say so speech dot text this will be this const message which we have got from the input field and then we want to set its volume so let's keep it to one then speech dot rate so this rate is the speed at which the utterance will be spoken we will keep it one for now then speech dot pitch you can change it depending on whatever pitch you like you can go high pitch low pitch anything you want we'll keep it one and now finally to speak uh, to let the system speak uh, all this we have an, the one last function video dot speech synthesis this is the property dot speak and in here we will pass our object speech now when i hit save and like press anything welcome to code grind and i click on when i click on speak welcome to code grind we get this speech from the system now we can change this rate to something like four and now when i type something like welcome to code grind welcome to code grind so you see the speed at which the utterance is spoken has increased you can do the same things by increasing or decreasing volume uh, lowering or making the page high you can do all sorts of things that you want so this is it for today's video now if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and thank you for watching